Joining us now is Salesforce CEO Mark Benioff for an exclusive interview. Mark, great to have you on the show. Welcome. Sarah, it is always great to be with you. How are you doing? I'm doing okay, although starting to get concerned here. The market wobbled again. You've had a pretty good read on, on this crisis and then how companies are planning. What's your level of concern about a second wave and, and the potential fallout economically of a second wave? Well, Sarah, you know, we've been talking about this now for months. I mean, we are in a, of course, unpredictable time. There's never been greater uncertainty in the entire world because you have a global pandemic. You know that very well. You have a global economic crisis. You have a racial justice crisis. You have a global leadership crisis. And you have a global environmental crisis. And they're all happening simultaneously. So, yes, there's a lot of uncertainty in the world. And that's why we all have to really focus and get really clear about what we want right now and how we're going to succeed through these times. This is, this, this is a time that you can no longer do what you were doing six months ago. You have to do something totally new. And if you can do something totally new, you can have tremendous success. And I think Salesforce is now an example of that success. You saw we delivered a 29% growth quarter. It was amazing. And that followed a 30% growth quarter. We also had record margins, and we also had record large deals. I mean, it was amazing how many, you know, very large transactions we were able to close during that time. But ultimately, I'll tell you, Sarah, this is about helping our customers succeed mm -hmm. and helping them thrive during this time. It was a 63% increase in seven-figure deals for our quarter, and it's really because the largest and most important companies in this world, they're all making dramatic changes and we're there to help them connect with their customers in a whole new way. No question, you've been in the sweet spot for, for enterprise software spending and, and work from home and the shift to online. Mark, does it feel like it's being pulled forward or is that kind of level, those kind of numbers that you just mentioned, sustainable for a longer period? Sarah, we have talked about this. You're in your home. I am in my home. Correct. We're on digital. I was just talking to your producer. They're adjusting my camera. I'm doing my own lighting. I'm not at Beyond Picks, you know, in my professional studio in San Francisco, where we usually are. I'm in my home. This is like, I, we're in a new digital world, in an all digital world. The, the past is gone. It's not coming back. You know, we are not in the future. We are in the present moment. This is a be here now moment. Everyone needs to realize the past is gone. We are now in this new digital future, and we need to rebuild our companies, our organizations, and ultimately, we need to rebuild ourselves to be successful in this new digital future. And I'll tell you, I just had a board meeting last week, and I had a board member, and they were talking about, well, you know Zoom and how great Zoom is, and we participated in this great Zoom IPO and how successful the company is, and Zoom is really the future, isn't it, Mark? And I said, look, Zoom is not the future. Zoom is the present. This is our present reality. I'm on Zoom right now doing this interview. So we are in a new world. This is our reality. And we need to all make changes and we need to make them now because this is not going to shift anytime soon. If we're going to succeed through this, we need to realize the past is gone. I mean, you're right. I am in my bedroom do, doing the live show. But I on one day, day soon, in like, the near... <laughs> I know, Appreciate I know, it. But, but I this hope to amazing. be back is, is the point. I, I'm right. wondering we how long you think back. work from home is, is for here. Like, or is it going to be, or is it permanent? Because yeah. some CEOs say it's bad for culture, but other CEOs say it's good for flexibility and work-life balance. Sarah, we're never going back to how it was. And I can tell you what it's like right now. All of our employees are at home, even in countries, Sarah where we are open, like Japan. Employees don't even want to come in because they've reskilled themselves. They've used, you know, we have a whole reskilling engine called trailhead.com. They've reskilled themselves. They use our tools. We have a tremendous Salesforce automation tool that lets our, cust our employees sell to our customers remotely, digitally. Our sales cloud is why we have tremendous sales productivity and success. Our service cloud is why we are having tremendous ability to service from anywhere, we can market from anywhere. The reason we're the fastest growing top five software company in the world, Sarah, is because we use mm -hmm. our own products. 
And this is just a minute in time where I'm like, wow, I didn't see this coming. Nobody did. But now that we're here, we're, we have to rebuild ourselves. And at the same time, we have to also augment for our customers what we can do. Like, we are doing now contact tracing for thousands of companies. We run, you know, this uh, pandemic response management for 35 states. We didn't have a pandemic response capability six months ago. Now we have to have it. You know, we, we have to be there for our customers to help them be successful, whether they are uh, public sector organizations or whether they are the world's mm -hmm. most important companies. And this is a moment where if we all decide that we are going to be successful, and that the past is gone, we can create the future that we want.